Hi guys and girls, we should be live and hopefully the camera is not playing up today. Welcome to another cyber coaching session with me, your cyber coach Lee Reed. Now we've got a little bit of light to play with. We brought you down to the parkour park near us. It's got a load of different things. So we're going to do a bit of pit workout, a bit of wall workout, a bit of strength workout, a bit of mixture of everything. Now you guys can watch me do this at home. Uh, whilst we're doing it here because all the movements we're doing are very easy you can do them in your living room or you can just join in and chat to us there's going to be one of us behind the camera all times answering your questions so throw your questions out there remember the hashtags as well um, and obviously as normal on the monday i've got jamie over here um, and we're both going to do two warm-up exercises and then from there we're going to go some strength and we're going to vary it so he's going to do one exercise i'm going to do the other he's going to do the next one i'm going to do the next one um, so good luck enjoy join in Hello Charlotte, hello Christopher, Jonathan, Erin, the Hugheses, really drive both hands Jake, oh you're all getting the hashtags in early, hey if you get the hashtags in early and then leave us it's going to be trouble. So if you're doing this at home, you don't actually technically need to be doing something over a step or over an object. You could just put a football down. But if you just want to get the little bit of warm up going, just get your legs literally going over the top of something and driving the knees through. So all you have to do is literally start driving the hands. So if your left foot's going over, your right arm will drive it. So you're working opposite hand to opposite leg. You're only looking to do it sort of 20, 30 seconds, um, and then we'll switch around. So James is just gonna do two more, and then he'll switch with me. <laughs> see, he's using the stepper, good lad, see? That one we like. All right, so going off James' exercise, transferring on to my one. What you're going to do is you're going to go off onto something and push off. Now we can do a little bit more of an acceleration jump. But if you've got, let's say, a wall at home, or even if you just want to go lunge jumps, it's absolutely fine. Here we're going to go single leg and drive off landing nice and solid. Go and transfer and stop this side. So we're using both legs, making sure the bend of the knees is coming in each time. Start getting wetter though. <laughs> yeah, start slipping. <laughs> We're going to work off of 10 of these each side. C says, could you jump over it? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I know someone that could. Playing, having a bit of fun, get yourself out. If you've lost your fitness in the last couple of weeks, you've been struggling to go out and do something. What we're trying to do is spur you on to try it. So if you are watching this at home, get yourselves involved. Try the exercise, go from there. James exercise. Where are you going? <laughs> See, says Joshua could. I give you that. He's doing box jumps. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a bit slippy, so I'm a bit scared. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I was like, ooh. <laughs> Just concentrate on the plant every single time. I'll do a maximum of eight. 
So obviously, as you're seeing, he's pulling the hands to actually get the mechanisms of the legs working. So he's driving through with the arms. Now, what you don't want to do when he's doing it so high that he is, you don't want to do it so your ATP doesn't regenerate. So sometimes you might need to have a break. So if Jamie took a walk to almost the opposite end and just relaxes and comes back in, he's going to then finish off with two more. Now, obviously, you can do this one at home just as a standing jump. So try and get your head as high as you physically can. It is definitely slippery. <laughs> Claire, I'm not going to say what you just said. <laughs> this is higher than I thought it was. <laughs> Ah, relax off, Jamie. We're gonna go um, over this way this time. And what you're gonna do? I'd just like to say, nice to know my mum's confident in me. Just seeing her comment about it. <laughs> and as you notice from me, I tend to do, try and let the steps go, try and let the steps go. Now, that comes from the years and years of the SAQ movement. So, good time to bring in a little bit of dynamic stretch at the full start. My mum just said, my mum just said she can hear me puffing behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm unfit, I know. <laughs> you try doing it in a mask. Yeah. <laughs> Especially a six-layered one. Just a couple of knees to chest. C is doing side bunny hops. Three little hamstring curl throughs. You just kick it through and flick it. All it is is. She's got a stack of Legs. Hold on to a sofa at home whilst doing this. Get yourself a nice stable base. Just going arms. We're going to be using it in a minute. Get the chest open. A little bit of a uh, little the waist. Make sure you see how much we use your obliques. Change your launch hand sanitizer. If you obviously are doing this outside, make sure you've got your hand sanitizers. Mine's from Fitness Inc. Northampton. Uh, Legends gave me loads of uh, gym ones. Apparently, it smells of uh, cucumber as well. It's not like I smell anything in this mask. Um, but obviously, if you're outside touching anything, make sure you've got your sanitizer. Make sure you got your spray. We sprayed the things we're going to be using, but make sure you got hand sanitizer just in case. Jay's next exercise. Oh, we're going over to the monkey bar. All right, Sam. Do, 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 do. Moving, 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 moving. <laughs> this is going up high. He's starting off crazy. Hey, I've left my crazy ones to last. He's going at it. So with this one, Jamie's just going to put, I'd put your toes, um, I'd put your laces in like we did last time. So you slightly hyperextend your actual ankles, but you get a better stable position. Now by doing it up there, obviously if he fatigues, all he, can do, all he has to do is collapse down onto the lower bar and he's stable and safe. So always have a thought process of what you're doing and when you're doing it. Um, obviously with it being a parkour park, this is quite, 
Uh, well, the, the, the kit here is quite handy. Um, I ne we never knew it was here until about two weeks ago, which is when we were doing one of our normal walks. Uh, we were doing a walk, jog, walk, jog, and we got uh, attacked over the head, uh, over our head by fireworks. We legged it down this way to not worry about the fireworks, um, and we bumped into this massive park. We thought, ooh, that should be a great thing to do a little live on. So all you're gonna do on this one, we're gonna do two sets of eight. <laughs> Danny, is that you saying that or is that Aaron saying that? Good, Jay, keep breathing. Keep driving through, man. And whilst Jamie gets himself down from there, we're going to transfer this way. And I'm going to do reverse press ups. A warning that metal is very cold. <laughs> If you've got a partner, they can lock their hands in there and you can do it to their arms. If you haven't, um, you could do a jump press up. So a little bit of a jump, land softly. So it's another way of doing it. Or if you've got some bottles at home, a little bit of a reverse row would be absolutely fine for the muscles that we're using on this one as well. Hands, yeah, <laughs> definitely. All right, James, going on this next one. But over wet where you were. <laughs> oh, stealing mine! They're stealing mine. They said this one was going to be mine. So I'm putting him under pressure. We're going to have a full look at his technique on this one. I remember when he couldn't used to do pull-ups. Just careful of pulling your chin in. Bar that, really good. Yes, Jamie. Oh, he's freezing. I think my hands have been so cold in my life. So pull-ups at home would be a little bit more complicated. Um, you could either do handstand springs. Um, if you've got a pull-up bar, brilliant. Uh, if not, to start working on your traps, it's just a case of take a rubber band, take it wide, down, back up, in. Wide, down, back up, in. So you're getting the contraction of the trap behind you. That should have given Jay enough time to get his ACP in. <laughs> now, the people that are watching us, I like the fact you're still going and still watching. Now, what I want to see is questions. Start launching them in. Questions on exercise. Or do you want us to try something different? Do you want us to do an exercise that you haven't seen before? Um, give us a shout. Best one will win 50 cyber points. Do not let it be Christopher. Whatever you do, he's running away with the cyber championship. Let's pull him back. Hashtag destroy Christopher. You want to do one more set? So, looking at the side on this one for Jay. <laughs> Danny, that's one they're coming into in a minute. Jamie's going to do it because he's in uh, trousers. Rather than me, who would absolutely murder my legs on this one. But yes, that is one we're coming on to in a minute. Hanging upside down sit up. So we'll go on to that in a minute, Joe. Yeah. Now, as we're going on to a little bit of a core. Cool.
<laughs> Glad it was you and not me. <laughs> it's probably better if you can get the right. Yeah. Yeah, you can do loads at home. You can do it in a plank shape, you can do it in a press up shape. You can even do it in a single sided press up. So, try and say. Into one side. you can work with. Going on to Jamie's needs to be nice. Alright. I'm good with the setups, but just gotta find out. Like that in a minute? Yeah, I was just. Is that one last? Yeah. I don't know if they're gonna leave, but. So we're just gonna take two minutes out just to do our hands. Let's get those questions in. So he says, can you add more movement? and do parkour speed and jumping off of things. I uh, see the one reason why we haven't done much of that is it is wet. So we don't particularly want to slip and kill ourselves alive on camera. Um, but it is something we'll try and have a look at. Um, but at a parkour speed, you really need to be doing it in the middle of summer or if you're experienced at it. I am not, and so Jamie certainly, we're both not experienced at parkour. Um, we just wanted to bring life to a parkour park to show you some of the exercises you could be doing. Um, so, uh, good question. We'll try and do a little bit for you. Um, I'll go with my next couple with it. Jamie will work on the strength stuff. There is not a roundabout that we can see, see? Well, that'd be a bit fun, I've got to be honest. <laughs> I love the fact he's trying to do eight of these. I'd have gone for four and just showed a nice demo. <laughs> One-handed pull-ups, apparently. <laughs> I don't think he likes you anymore, Aaron. <laughs> All right, so C, for you, I'm going to a bit more parkour stuff. Going back to where we originally started from. Get it nice and stable. Just a few inverted squats. If you're doing that at home, squat, move to the side, larger squat. Squat back in, squat to the side, move through. So it's just that meter and that variation you can put into it. So give it a try, have a go. Game is the last one. It will be the last one, but it just run over. Just go on to it, go around the other side. And yeah, you, you can't pick your area sometimes. We've got kids everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but at least they're out enjoying themselves. Zroom, <laughs> coming under. <laughs> 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 
yeah, don't try this at home unless you've done this for many, many years. Jamie and I would normally do this with inversion boots on, but this is a good fun one if you've got the right equipment and right areas. Only looking to try and do about six to eight pull-ups. Make sure you're fully breathing as you come up. We think they might do, see? <laughs> We're hoping they don't. And obviously to allow your head to get the blood back to it, come up every couple, then go down. Uh, I haven't put my Christmas stuff up. I don't agree with doing it till December. Uh, Jamie, have you put your Christmas stuff up? Jamie says you'll have to ask his mum. She might be on this live. So if you ask her, she'll let us know. Uh, whilst Jamie recovers from that one, we're gonna go and do one Christopher asked for, a little bit of speed work. And I think we've timed this live near enough perfect. It's going proper dark now. So here, what are you guys gonna do at home? Single leg jump to exploding sun. I'm gonna try not killing myself. Alright, let's see if I die. Yeah. Well, that was Let's make sure I don't slip in the, on the basic one. Okay. Just wait here. Nicola said, our tree doesn't go up to the 14th. Oh, I love that. <laughs> this is up to going up. And we'll go two more of these. Might even fly around the robin. I come back on myself. That was a little bit of fun from us. We thought we'd take somewhere different. Try a different environment. Get your heart racing going a little bit. If you've got any questions on the exercises and how to perform them at home, give us a little message or leave a comment. And we'll get back to you. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, but look at the camera behaves, so that's brilliant news. Uh, we shall see you tomorrow for a bank reveal. And then we have two other lives coming throughout the rest of the week. The guys, girls, from me, the side of the coach, from Jamie, behind the camera. Have a lovely day. We'll see you soon.